Nigeria's agriculture sector contributes 21.91% to the country's GDP. The herbs and spice is one of the main drivers of this figure, as the Nigerian market has the potential of generating $15 billion yearly alone from the herbs and spices market. According to a report on Bloomberg.com, the global herbs and spices market is worth $20.46 billion by 2025 if production rate is increased. Currently, continents like Asia produces 94.2% of the global spices. India is the main producer at 1.01 million tons, followed by Bangladesh at 78,783 tons. China at 68,605 tons, continental China at 67,519 tons, and Turkey at 59,056 tons, this leading the pack as global world producers. According to the FAO, some of the leading producers of spices in Africa include Nigeria, Madagascar, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, and Ghana producing 3.1% of herbs and spices that the world consumes and exports. According to Grandview Research, the global seasoning and spices market size was valued at 13.77 billion USD in 2019 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 6.3% from 2020 to 2027, increase in buyers' willingness to pay a premium for new flavors and ethnic tastes has been creating demand for ethnic products, in turn, fueling the growth of the market. Furthermore, rising demand for ready-to-use spice mixes as convenient options in the food service industry is expected to open new avenues for the market. Seasoning and spices have been witnessing a remarkable demand from the commercial and household sectors, not only due to their taste and flavor, but also the associated health benefits. In line with expanding the value chain of herbs and spices in Africa, Truvis Agro Services Limited, an agriculture company in Nigeria has taken up the gauntlet to be a major producer of herbs and spices with a homegrown input-output process uptake model that ensures farm produce gain easy access to industrial markets and to the hands of the people that need it. Truvis Agro has also introduced technology for improved and efficient production processes. With farm operations spread around the country on an expanse of over 2,000 hectares of land, Truvis Agro is committed to feeding the nation and creating a steady harvest of herbs and spices for local consumption as well as exports for industrial and commercial purposes. Located on the outskirts of Lagos, in the Asian town of Ekwe, a coastal town known for its aquatic splendor and riches, Truvis Agro Ekwe Farm is home to yellow habanero, fennel, sesame, basil, chili pepper and more. All grown in rotation over a 500 acres piece of land. It is on this land that the sesame miracle was birthed. Our Ekbe farm is the first land in southwest Nigeria where the sesame plant, Sesemum indicum, successfully achieves an outstanding harvest. In Truvis, we're, we're, we're a very R&D oriented company. We don't just grow regular um, herbs and spices. We, we try to be a little innovative. And so uh, this year we decided to give a, a new twist to our operations and we invested in planting sesame seeds. Now, normally sesame doesn't grow in Lagos State or in the Southwest at large, but um, we, we did a lot of research. We had to get our land prepared. We uh, trained some of our staff in how to manage the crop during its lifetime. And we, 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 it, it turned out to be a fantastic yield. We, we're currently just harvesting. The surprising thing about the sesame is that everyone believes that it cannot do well in the Southwest here, but especially in Lagos State. But I told my boss and the management to bring it for me, that I can be able to put it across. And to the glory of God, I deliver it to them. It was a bumper harvest. Sesame, Sesamum indicum, is an ancient annual herb which grows well in hot climates. Known primarily for its seed and the oil processed from it, 
Sesame seeds are a good source of several nutrients that are important for immune system function, including zinc, selenium, copper, iron, vitamin B6, and vitamin E. It is believed to have been taken to America in the 17th century during the slave trade by Africans who called it Benny. It has however been grown in Arabia, India, and China for centuries for its taste and medicinal properties. Ever wondered at the term open sesame? It refers to the seed's ability to pop at the slightest touch when ripe. With the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, the farmers managed to stay in production as an essential service. At the initial stage of the COVID-19, I find it difficult to access the farm. I had to get a permit from the farm, which they gave to me. So that made it easy for me to access the farm. Apart from the sesame, our other produce at the Ekbe farm are also doing well. And this is due to best farming practices that is being carried out on the farm. Our irrigation system operates at its optimum every day to keep the plants well watered sufficiently. These practices have helped in constant fruitful harvest of our produce and also keeping the farm running on full course. Truvis Agro in a bid to follow farming best practices while also indulging in the most efficient farming methods has introduced UAV technology to enable precision farming on its Ayetoro farm. UAV technology can be applied even before the opening of a new location using soil sampling and soil mapping. Truvis Agro has been able to reduce erosion and wastage during irrigation. This technology also enables the determination of the most suitable locations for planting specific crops, as well as builds a treasure trove of data that enhances the overall management of the farm site. And our general operation presently is basically within an harvesting, and um, alongside with irrigation, because now we are, we, the, the weather is so dry, we are not getting rain for a long time, so we decided to put in irrigation system in place to to get them water so basically what we have on ground is to wait do harvesting and irrigate the crops with technical support from area robotics uav services limited who helped us to collate and analyze several reports generated using uav drone technology Truvis Agro is set to achieve the most efficient farming processes. The data collection starts with the releasing of the drone on the farmland by our technical partners, and then it starts its work, collecting data and analyzing farmland from the sky with the latest technology. This is what precision agriculture is all about. To maximize efficiency in agriculture, technology is important in adding to the other means of, of production that they have on ground. We covered two main um, expanses of land. One is 15 hectares and the other was 12 hectares. Now we flew over this with a multi-spectral camera. Enables us to see the farm beyond the visible. So we can see things that the ordinary eyes can't see. Now what this helps us do is that it helps us see the layout of, 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 of the land and helps us get data. Now from the data, we can process the data and get several different indices. Now we can see the, the chlorophyll levels in the plants. We can see what's called the NDVI, NDRE, and also we can see the terrain. So we can create a terrain model and a digital elevation model. Now what this helps is that it helps the farm managers plan for irrigation and also help them understand the water behavior on the soil. And after a week of analyzing the data generated by the Metro's M300 drone, the following reports were able to be gathered by our partners. A quick chat with the CEO of Truvis Agro Services Limited explains the importance of precision farming and the economic benefits in Nigeria. So we've needed to introduce um, precision farming into our operations across the country, both in Lagos and in uh, Ogun State, also in Oyo and Kwara, because we, we continue to expand our grown out areas and it's important for us to, to optimize the land that we have. Um, farming can be extremely subjective, especially in a place like Nigeria, 
where you have a lot of people who assume, I mean yield is assumed, impute is assumed, there's a lot of assumption, even the land quality is assumed. But you see, when you're planting on large hectares of farmlands, it's essential that you have a bit of precision. So we decided to invest in the drone UAV technology, which is what is called precision farming. We are using that now to map our land spaces even before planting. At Truvis Agro Services Limited, agriculture for us includes having the best practices for farming. This including proper irrigation systems, a flexible working system for our farmers, and also utilizing the best of any technological inputs that will improve farming operations and most importantly, improve our farm yields. With this said, our end goal is to be the pride of not just the nation, but of Africa at large. At Truvis Agro, it is not just about feeding ourselves, but also being able to feed the nation and most importantly, creating good streams of income generators through agricultural products and also making people in the country at large happy.